you guys so a couple of weeks ago I reviewed African Pride's pre shampoo and it did so well you guys I wanted to see how it paired up with my DIY pre poo so here are the ingredients I'll be using fresh aloe vera plant we have some coconut milk apple cider vinegar sweet almond oil we have castor oil and I'll be using Aussie moist conditioner <laughs> girl all right you guys i'm going to show you what the consistency looks like of both of these products i'm kind of whispering because it's very early in the morning here so on this side, we're gonna be doing the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition pre poo I have a formal review on here that I will be linking in the cards, okay? This is the consistency. Now I have one fourth of a cup of this love. And this is how it looks like. A light coconut plant scent to it okay look at my nails already coming off girl it's like a very very um thinned out gel basically it's like aloe vera gel it's basically the consistency is all right and then on this side oh yes my diy So I whipped this up um, yesterday and I should probably get a spoon, but we're gonna use the, oh, this is so fluffy y'all. So I put it in a blender, very, very creamy. Let me bring this brightness down. And on this side, I'll be doing my DIY pre-poo. Now I don't use the same ingredients all the time. It just depends on what I have. Um, very, very creamy. And, way thicker than that it's this consistency of um conditioner smells good and this is the consistency now i use mostly the oisey's moist miracle moist rinse out conditioner for this this is how creamy it is and this is what it looks like on the palm of my well that my hand not the palm all right you guys so I'm gonna section my hair off. Um, lightly mist my hair with warm water and we're going to start pre point Now I do have the Felicia Leatherwood brush here, but I also have my comb here, okay? All right, you guys, so I will be lightly misting my hair with warm water and then applying the DIY pre-poo. Now, with this particular pre-poo, I try to um, make it the day of because it's not something that you want to allow sitting around. You can refrigerate it for maybe one or two days, but that's about it. It is very, very creamy. Um, a little on the thicker side, but that's okay. If you want it to water it down, you can do so, but it has amazing slip. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and section off my hair, um, spritz it with water, and apply the pre-poo. I'm also going to do a little bit of finger detangling and detangle more so with the Felicia Leatherwood brush.
right, you guys, so now I'm going to um, try the pre peel on the back of my hair, which is a tighter curl texture, more so of a 4C. Um, very, very dry, you guys. And I'm getting a little bit more gray hair, but we ain't gonna talk about that, girl. So again, sectioning the hair off, applying some water, applying the pre poo and detangling. So this is what I'm gonna do on both sides. I'm basically gonna try the pre poo in three sections, okay? Alright you guys, so on this side I will be using the pre-shampoo by African Pride. Again, slightly finger detangling, um, adding some water and adding a little bit of the product towards my root and working it down. Now you guys, I found that since this product is, um, I should say, liquidy, has more water, I don't need to use as much. It's thinner, girl vocabulary. But look how well it works on my coils. Um, so again, going in with the Felicia Leather with detangling brush to help um, detangle my hair. Y'all, I was struggling for some reason with detangling my hair. I will say that I did not detangle my hair properly my last wash day, which is so important, um, especially if you are for type. So anyway, look at how my curls look with this product. So yes, continue to detangle and applying the product, okay? That's not fair. You playing dirty African pride. So again, working with a section at the back of my hair, which is primarily 4C, but there is some 4B in there, y'all. I, I kind of, you know, try to stay away from the hair typing system, but um, it does have its benefits. So again, starting to detangle my hair at the ends and working my way up towards the roots. Let me tell you something. If you have not tried this pre-poo, this pre-shampoo by African Pride, please go out and purchase it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and purchase at least three or four, and this will be my pre-poo going forward because I mean, the results are just, just great for my hair texture and density. All right, we're done, we're done. So, um, I thought my DIY had it in the bag. Girl, I thought you was gonna come through. No, it's gonna have to be the African Pride pre-shampoo. Absolutely love. It. I mean, you guys saw it. The slip is great. I didn't have to use a lot. My only thing is that I really can't find this locally, you guys. It depends on the demographics where you live at, but I can find it online for just five dollars. And honestly, um, this costs less than my DIY. If you can, if I consider everything I put in this, yeah. So, African Pride won this one. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all our new subscribers. Take care. Bye.